Uh, so as our final topic in the complex numbers, we're going to look at powers of i. See what we can do about powers of i. Powers of complex numbers in general are very interesting, but beyond the scope of this class. So we'll just look at powers of i because they're kind of interesting. So we'll define i to the 0 to be 1. You pretty much have to do that for the rules of arithmetic to hold for exponent rules and so on. So we'll just make the definition i to the 0 is 1. And i to the 1, well, the 1 stands for one factor of i. So that's just i. OK. And then i squared is i times i. And i squared is minus 1. We already know that. OK. And as we move down this list, each time I increase the exponent by 1, I'm multiplying by an extra factor of i. So i cubed is minus 1 times i. That's minus i. And i to the fourth is i times i cubed, which is i times minus i. Let's write that like this. Well, i times i cubed like that, which is i times minus i like that, which is going to be 1. OK. So we'll see later on that we're going to use the fact that i to the fourth is 1 helps solve some other problem. So we need that to be clear that i to the fourth is 1. It's i times i times i times i. There's different ways to do it. You could write that. Let me take this out. You could also write i to the fourth. i to the fourth is i squared times i squared, which is minus 1 times minus 1, which is 1. So no matter how you slice it, i to the fourth is 1. We'll come up here then. i to the fifth then is i to the fourth times i, which is 1 times i, which is i. And i to the sixth is another i. So i times i is minus 1, and then I get minus i. i to the eighth is i to the fourth times i to the fourth. That's 1 times 1. That's 1. OK. So make some room here. So we can think of multiplying by i as going around this circle. If you're at 1, if you multiply by i, you get i. And then you multiply i again, you get minus 1. Multiply by i again, you get minus i. Multiply i by i again, you get i back. So four times around, four different i products uh, gives you a 1. And 8 gives you a 1. And 16 gives you a 1, and so on. So if we want to figure out, say, a i to a giant power, I just factor out as many i to the fourths as I can. So I factor as many 4s out of 63 as I can. Each 4 i's is a 1. OK. I know 60 is a multiple of 4. OK, so that's i times 60, i times 3. And 60 is 4 times something. That's 2 times 30. So it's 4 times 15. So it's i to the 4 times 15 times i cubed. And uh, 4 times 15 is i to the 4th to the 15th. That's the rules for exponents. So that's just going to be 1 times i cubed. Okay. And i cubed, we just said i cubed is minus i. So I get minus i. So there's other ways to do that. I know that 64 is a multiple of 4. So i to the 64th is 1. So I could write that i to the 63rd is i to the 64th over i, which is 1 over i. And I have to simplify that by multiplying top and bottom by i. Pod over i times i over i. You get. 1 over minus 1i. Eventually, you get minus i. That took a lot of work. OK. I didn't mean to put that there, but there it is. It just came up. And now, we'll try i to the minus 27. I'm not going to do this strategy. I'm just going to write that 1 over i to the 27th. That's how negative exponents work. And then, I suppose, I would like to make the bottom exponent a multiple of 4. I would. 4 times 6, 4 times 7 is 28. So I want to make that a 28. 
So I'll go i over i 27 times i to the first, which is i over i to the 28th. But that's 7 times 4. So I've got i to the fourth to the seventh, which is i over 1 to the seventh, which is just i. Okay. So there's bunches of ways to handle these things. Let's see. I'm looking at my notes. We're just trying to get an exponent on the i that's a multiple of 4 and use the exponent rules and the fact that i to the fourth is 1 to make our life simpler. So whichever way, here i64 is a multiple of 4, here 60 was a multiple of 4, here 28 is a multiple of 4. And that was the key to simplifying uh, powers of i. So that brings us to the end of the complex numbers. I don't know what this is here. Here we go, i. i squared is okay, we're good. And um, we'll see you next time. Um, we won't do complex numbers anymore, but uh, that's a pretty complete introduction to at least how complex numbers work. There's things we haven't talked about, like square roots of complex numbers, but that's kind of out of the range of this class. So I'll talk to you later, and uh, I think that's the end of chapter 7, so happy chapter 7. <laughs>